Pediatric Migraine Updates and Evidence-Based Management A 14-year-old girl was referred for evaluation of pounding bitemporal headaches. She has a history of chronic daily migraine with 15 headache days per month associated with photophobia and nausea and vomiting lasting several hours and improving with sleep. She had been started on amitriptyline 50 mg nightly by her pediatrician three months prior without improvement in headache frequency and morning fatigue. What would you choose to do next? As with adults, pediatric migraine treatments are divided into acute and prophylactic treatments. The FDA has approved four triptans for abortive treatment, almatriptan, zolmatriptan, sumatriptan for ages 12 to 17, and rizatriptan for ages 6 to 17. Randomized controlled trials also support the use of acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and combination sumatriptan naproxen for acute headache. Currently, topiramate is the only FDA-approved therapy for prevention of headache in children aged 12 to 17. Further data on pediatric-specific prophylactic strategies is lacking. The AAN practice guideline recommends discussing the role for preventative therapies in patients with frequent and disabling migraines. The largest randomized placebo-controlled trial investigating pediatric migraine prevention was the Childhood and Adolescent Migraine Prevention, or CHAMP, trial published in 2017. This NIH-funded trial enrolled 361 subjects aged 8 to 17 with at least four migraines a month. Subjects were randomized to topiramate 2 mg per kilogram per day, amitriptyline 1 mg per kilogram per day, or placebo. The trial closed early for futility when topiramate and amitriptyline performed no better than placebo. Adverse events were more common in the intervention arms, fatigue with amitriptyline, paresthesias with topiramate. While some view this trial as a failure of medical therapy, others have pointed to the high placebo response rate of 60%, suggesting that counseling of lifestyle modifications during the CHAMP trial may have improved headache frequency. All patients in the CHAMP trial received counseling on sleep hygiene, hydration, exercise, not skipping meals, and cognitive behavioral therapy. Additionally, they received appropriately dosed acute therapies like NSAIDs, acetaminophen, and triptans, and were counseled on medication overuse. Randomized controlled clinical trials in adults have shown benefit to melatonin, riboflavin, and low-dose amitriptyline, 10 mg. Melatonin was compared to amitriptyline and placebo in one adult trial and shown to have similar efficacy as amitriptyline with fewer side effects. One randomized trial in children and adolescents aged 10 to 17 showed benefit to cognitive behavioral therapy in combination with amitriptyline. A promising new class of FDA-approved therapies for adults are the CGRP inhibitors. There are several monoclonal antibodies available that target calcitonin gene-related peptide, which is elevated during migraine attacks. Several clinical trials for one of the monoclonal antibodies, arunumab, are currently recruiting pediatric chronic migraine patients. Clinical trials to investigate the role of onobotulinum toxin A injections in the treatment of chronic pediatric migraine are also enrolling patients. So how should we manage our 14-year-old patient? After discussing with the patients and parents, she should be tapered off of amitriptyline due to side effects and lack of benefit. The mainstay of evidence-based treatment for pediatric migraine remains appropriately dosed acute treatments like NSAIDs, acetaminophen, and triptans. So this patient should receive an abortive treatment and be counseled on avoiding overuse. The most recent AAN practice guideline recommends providing counseling on lifestyle modification, such as emphasizing good sleep, physical activity, and a healthy body weight. Caffeine, alcohol, tobacco, and known headache triggers should be avoided. Given her high headache frequency and disability from migraines, a different preventative medication should be considered. The guideline also recommends discussing the clinical trial data do not show superiority to placebo. However, the evidence for short-term or two-month treatment trials of propranolol, topiramate, or amitriptyline in combination with CBT should be discussed with patients and caregivers. For prevention of migraines, all patients should be counseled on lifestyle modification and cognitive behavioral therapy should be considered. CGRP inhibitors may play an important role in the future of refractory chronic pediatric migraine management but do not have evidence of efficacy in children at this time. 
For a more in-depth overview of pediatric migraine management, including a 2018 continuum article by Dr. Amy Gelfin and the AAN's practice guidelines for pediatric migraine, please see the course resources at aan.com view neurobytes.